love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No show. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Roof. The, the app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. It will also match your first deposit up to $100 and you get a special pick when you sign up. Of course, I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Stat Baby, along with your host, Cam and Mace. What's What's up? What's good, nigga? What's the word? I feel better. I'm wearing skims. (laughs) 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 Yo, my brothers actually feel a little better. (laughs) The shirt is wild tight, though, (laughs) boss. You got skims on for real? (laughs) Listen. Uh, hey, man, I, can, hey, I, I, like I said, I was just learning yesterday. It's a, it's I didn't a know. tank top. It's a tank top. Somebody sent it to me. Mm. My skims wants to be a white beater. <laughs> That's my, skims white beater. That's what I got a, a regular old white beater. This is my skims. All right. Well, we got to talk about NBA opening night. The Nuggets swept the Lakers 119 to 107. Not gonna say y'all called it, but I will let y'all. Discuss Why did you say swipe? <laughs> swept. So yeah, swept. What, what do you mean swept? What do you they mean swept, my swept? They swept them. Okay, that's a new swipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, usually a sweep means in a series that you beat somebody four zero. So that's why we Mace probably asked you yeah, that. Yeah, that means it was a no contest. Yeah. I mean, this is nothing new. We we predicted this that you know that it, it went exactly the way I thought it would go. Actually. When you think about the the joke of having a triple double now, he had 29 points, 13, what, rebounds and 11 assists. It's, this is just, and he partied all summer. So imagine the amount of pause he could have had if he ain't party all summer. This is like, yo, I do what I want to do when I want to do it, no matter who's guarding me. So this is, this is even more disrespectful when somebody just, Party all summer and then come in and get a three, get a triple double. That's crazy. And and LeBron had exactly what we thought. I think we we met our underdog fantasy with that pause that that LeBron would do exactly what he did. But then when you think of Jamal Murray, he showed up twenty one six points. But I think it was um the Pope guy. He he showed up. He showed up and made the difference to to me. And I think the Lakers, this is a, a preview for what's to come. They're going to be good enough, but they won't beat Denver. And now it's looking like they won't beat the Suns. But what you guys say about that, Killer? Because that's what I saw. Oh, well, Anthony Davis, he was uh, he had 17 points in the first half. They won the locker room at halftime, and this is what happened. Yeah, <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> the fuck going on at halftime in the fucking locker rooms, man? How the fuck you have 17 points in the first half and zero points in the whole fucking second half, man? What yeah. the fuck was you doing at halftime, bro? What the fuck? Not dead ass, yo. Seriously, man. The nigga, I watched the game. The nigga set it off with a dunk. I said, okay. But then the joker came down behind the back. Yeah. Floaties, I said, <laughs> fuck is that? Nah, nah this, this is too crazy. This nigga is nice. This nigga is nice, nice. Then a, a few plays later, Anthony Davis scores. Joker comes down, misses, gets the rebound. If it goes on Anthony Davis, I said, listen, bro, niggas cannot fuck with this kid, man. The Joker is a problem. Let me let me look in the camera. Let me look real quick, because Ohio, yo, Ohio, listen, Rich, Rich Paul, <laughs> Rich. <laughs> We know what you do. You you score. <laughs> you do what you supposed to do. Please, Rich. And I know I know Rich gonna hit me if it may be, may or me, may not. Did you see the look of disgust after the game on LeBron James' face? That looked like 81 more games. 
That was that really looked like yo. It's how many more times we got to play um, yeah. Denver? Because this this doesn't look at like it was even going to be close. LeBron, I feel your pain. I knew what you was trying to do psychologically when you said, "Yo, we gonna hand the team over." Yeah, we gonna put. Yeah, we gonna that that'll put the battery in his back for us to make sure we know it's his team. It's not his team, LeBron. I, and you know, I love you. You know, you my guy. And I know what you're trying to do, but it's not his team. As long as the Joker's around, it won't be his team. And the sad part is this: the Joker's 28. <laughs> That's the sad part. That's, that's the, the real that's sad the, part. That's the saddest part about this whole shit. This is at least seven more years of dominance. And I'm not saying he can't play longer than that. But I'm talking about at least at least five to seven years of this. this He's going to get better, Paul. Yes, this He's going to get all better I'm, this. Is, this is what I'm going to do. And there's nothing Anthony Davis or anybody else could do and about I'll it. And i party if I want to. Yeah, yeah ex exactly. That's the real disrespect. We and, and, saw all summer how hard he was partying. Yes. And for him to show up like this, like, this is like a like I said. I don't matter what I do, I'm better than him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so, Rich Paul, I know you had hit me, and you was like, I was a little hard on AD, pause. This is why. This yeah. is exactly why we seen this was coming. Pause. This was a foregone conclusion that I don't know what it is, and I'm not saying AD isn't working out. I'm not saying AD wasn't, you know, um, practicing a uh, new move. I have no idea what AD was doing, but you know you're his agent. But this is why we said this the other day, and you're going to go hard for your clients as you should. AG, AD's biggest flex this summer was what you did. The contract yeah. extension, knowing he can't fuck with the Joker. You really that nigga. Like, Rich Boy, you are really that nigga. For real, because you went and got that nigga that bread, my nigga. I think it was 186 million, yeah. three years extension. That's $60 million a year. You that nigga, bro. But that's what us Ohio niggas do. We can't count on somebody else <laughs> to do what you do. So, I so think he from he, Chicago, he, that don't count? He, no, Chicago, my nigga, though. Don't get me wrong. I used to, you know, the he song, is from Chicago. Don't forget, don't forget the shadow. <laughs> That's how the song goes. Don't forget the shadow. Don't forget the shadow. But it's just something, uh, it ain't, and them Chicago niggas is tough. They got, we, you know, we was Googling yesterday because we was trying to see where the most NBA players come from over the years, and I yeah. thought it was actually Chicago. That was what I thought, and... um. Bob thought it was Seattle because they got a lot of people. Yeah. But it's actually fucking California has the most NBA players ever. They fucking... Wow. It was crazy when we actually looked at the fucking list. It was like, oh, shit. Niggas who still playing now was crazy. You got Paul George, Kawhi. Um, yeah. Uh, Lonzo. Russell, Lonzo, Russell Westbrook. Mello. Mello. Yeah. Yeah. Them, yeah them, them California niggas loaded. But listen, man. LeBron, I feel for you. This looks like it's going to be a long, long, long road ahead. The way that Denver played to pardon me, last night was fucking crazy. And they look like they're on the road to going back, getting them championships. Back to back. It looked right. like they lacked that, that ring ceremony. Yeah. Hey, I see niggas glazing at the rings like, yeah. okay, this is what it's about. And yeah, you start having niggas that come off the bench, come to the game in shades. Yeah, exactly. And fur coats. They like they, <laughs> they look like they like that. that they like that ring <laughs> ceremony, you know. So, um, they look. They, you know, the yeah. kids look good yesterday. They look really good. And but I, you don't think to ad's ad's defense. Let's just for for time's sake talk about it. If he has seventeen points in the first half, do you think he needed more Paul's touches? It would be a have a better game because he didn't have as many touches in the second half. They said they're giving him the team. He should demand the <laughs> basketball. <laughs> I knew you was going to say that. If I knew you was going to say that. Team, yeah, yo, it's my team. You yeah, know that's what he's. If it's AD. my team, nigga, throw it, nigga. Ad, you got to look at LeBron and tell him it's your team. Give me the ball. Yeah. I had seventeen the first half. Yeah. We're going to just put this out there just for you. You know. It's my team. Give me the ball. I showed up in the first half. Like I told you, now give me the rock. Because if you don't give me the rock, then you set me up to blame me. And another thing is this, man. 
they're giving all this praise to a lot of people like uh, Austin Reeves. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the Lakers did the Rob Palenka. Yeah, he, they did he it. Did in a hell of season. a job. Did a hell of a job until in all ring season. ceremony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Listen, That's all man, I was thinking. It did not look good last night, and LeBron looked at like it's no, it's going to be a problem because look, you got Phoenix. Yeah. You got you got you got Sacramento. We we don't know what Dallas is gonna do. We got Memphis. You got, Golden, got State. Golden State. Yep. And we do not know what and I don't now we're talking about the West. We didn't even talk about in the city. Because yeah. if, if everybody's healthy with the Clippers, yeah. you might got a problem with the Clippers if everybody remains healthy over yeah, there. Yeah, this so, is not this is not a good start. Not, and especially you want it to come down to the wire. If you're playing a team, then you can even live with that. We were on the road. They got off to a good start, all of that, you could say. But if you lose close, then you could say we're in the hunt. Yeah, you, yeah. You're you in, even we're in a good that space. conversation. Right. But that that was just like, nah. You could tell the body language, pause of everybody on the team. Just like we, we got that number. And they know it and we know it. Right. And then after the game, uh, Joker did an interview. And not on, before I get to Joker's interview, the chant in the fourth quarter, I don't know if you heard it, <laughs> when the arena said, we're your daddy. We're your daddy. I know the king didn't like that. <laughs> we're your da- Yo, that's when niggas know that they got you, bro. You in the whole 30, I don't know how many seats the, uh, the Nuggets played, 25,000, 28,000, 22,000. When the whole arena is chanting, we're your daddy. That means niggas know that they got you. And that's just that. And until further notice, we can't really disagree yeah. with that Because there's nobody on, there's no guard that's on L.A. This is what you really got to look at, LeBron. There's no guard on L.A. that's better than Murray. And there's no big man on L.A. that's better than Joker. So at this point, you either have to take over the game well, you got to accept that you're not on the best team anymore. Now, let me ask you this. And this is not, I'm not agreeing with this. I'm acting, yeah. I, this is a, this is, yeah, a, this question. is a question. This is a question because I, I, you know, I'm Ohio. Yeah. Do you agree now <laughs> with what Colwell Pope said but, uh, between the Joker and LeBron? Uh, who may be better? <laughs> that's that's a that's a good question. Now that you looked at the game, especially after the floater pause, after the floater, you said, "Wait a minute, Joe, there might not be anything." He said, he "Other only than jumps Duncan, like, he said he only he jumps." He said, like, "Duncan, right?" Is it Colwell Pope? Exact quote was when they asked him, uh, "What does LeBron do better than the Joker?" And he said, "He jumps higher." If you was watching that game, you would agree. At this point, not in the whole career, but no, at no, this I'm, point. No, no, I'm asking you. That's yeah, why I'm, this point, I'm leaving it to the expert. <laughs> yeah, at this point, there's nothing, LeBron, you do better than the Joker, but jump higher. They come, they come to you. They, they rely come on to you. me for the truth. <laughs> they come to you. And I got to tell it, and it's a, sometimes it's a hard truth, but it's the truth. You know, the way he was looking out there, like he get any basket he wants, any time he wants, and... That's what make you the best player on the floor. And, th- and just so you're, we're clear for our audience sake yeah. and anybody else, you're only talking about now, not Yeah, career. we're not talking, yeah. that's what I said, not before. But who cares about before? <laughs> <laughs> we live in a today's generation, right? Good point. Good that's, point. What, <laughs> that's what the young kids help me to understand. <laughs> who cares what you did before? It's about what you're doing now. And I tell that to people, if I don't bring up my past, I'm definitely not going to honor yours. What? I'm mad at that statement. Last thing I will say about this uh, game, um, they interviewed the Joker after the game. Mm-hmm. Asked him a few questions. One question that stood out to me that Kenny Smith asked the Joker, <laughs> and the, <laughs> you, you knew the Joker was dead lying. <laughs> they said, everybody talks about your off-season regimen, mm-hmm. which you don't do, lack thereof. Yeah. You don't practice. What do you do? In the off season, and the Joker <laughs> said, well, "You know, a little basketball here and there, but you know, I stayed in the weight room every day. You know, I, I never miss weight. I don't miss weight room. I can do weight room. So, 
I I may miss basketball a couple of days or, or a month or two. <laughs> 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 the thing is, a month or two. I, I may miss I may miss couple of days or, or, or a month or two. <laughs> so this nigga ain't been playing for a month or two. Yo, the nigga. So what I took from that is this: from that statement, I took. Okay, <laughs> it was a time during the summer. Yeah. I missed a couple days. A month or two. And then it was a time during the summer <laughs> I missed a month. Then I played again after the month. And then I missed another it's month. only three months. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Joker, it's only three <laughs> months. If you <laughs> missed a month or two, two, you only played for a month. And not only that, yeah. He won the chip, so he had a short summer. Yeah. He played all the way to damn near July. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that more of the story is, I don't think he was in the weight room like that. I don't even think he's practicing like that. <laughs> and the nigga came back and had a triple-double. Not only that, he is he is in uh, sixth place, I believe, with 106 triple-doubles. He's only one triple-double behind uh, LeBron James and Jason Kidd, which is tied for fourth place with um, 100, 107 triple-doubles, and he's 28 years old. That's crazy. Yeah. It might be some scientific truth to that resting. And um, what they call it, pause low management. He I took know. the whole summer off. <laughs> 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 he came back. He came back. <laughs> Maybe we missed it. <laughs> Maybe we yeah. was doing too yeah, much. Exactly, exactly. So... <laughs> Yeah, uh, he amazing, rested you know, all summer yeah, he and came all back summer, with a triple double. All summer, man. And um shout out to Denver, man. Congratulations on the ring ceremony. And it was a hell of a start to the season last night. Congrats to Denver. And I'm sure that's gotta make every other team so irritated because he makes it look so easy and continues to perform every time. Okay, so I want an early prediction. Who is your favorite to win the championship? So the favorites right now are Boston. Milwaukee, Denver, Phoenix, or the Lakers? Do you have one of those teams, or is there? You said team? Boston. Mm-hmm. Boston's number one, I believe, if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Whoever came up with that Boston thing, and listen, 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 look at me for real. <laughs> Boston is not gonna win it. I'll put my glasses on it. Boston <laughs> is not gonna win it, <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to see without it. I bet my <laughs> sight on it. <laughs> No, let me stop. <laughs> they should have never gave me a mic. <laughs> no, nah, uh, I'm saying I just can't see Boston winning it because before they can get to the finals, I can't see them beating um I can't see them beating Giannis and and um and Damian Lillard. I just can't see it. So let alone, not only what you're saying is, not only they're not going to win the NBA championship, they're not even going to make it to the finals, according yeah, to Yeah, I don't see them coming out of the East being Giannis. I think Damian Lillard is equal as hungry. Pause. The win. The win. He didn't go over there to get to the finals and lose, especially. We talking about logo Dame. This is. This is logo Dame against, and but that will be interesting to think about it because, um, what's his name? Holiday would have to lose to his old team, and I don't think he'll let that happen either. So that's a really good one, but I don't see neither one of them, even if they get there, yeah, then beating talk- um, beating what you call it. They can't beat. They can't beat um, Denver. So Denver's your team in the West now. Is that what, is that, is that what you're saying? Yo, time out, bro. Time out. <laughs> Yo, bro. Denver's your team in the West. This is what you're tra- <laughs> This is what you're saying? <laughs> title town, man. <laughs> I only go with the title town, man. Yeah, that's man. crazy, man. I don't even think your team was Denver yesterday. I would have to go back and check. Who was your team yesterday? You know, <laughs> I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't Denver. Who was it? I, that's a good question. It wasn't Denver. I'm gonna have to ask Nick, man. Go, matter of fact, it was it Golden State. Was the it was Golden State. It man. was until they got was Chris the Paul. <laughs> <laughs> if you that's bring good. somebody I don't like, I have the right to leave because I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for Chris Paul. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? If you. When you make the listen, but listen, yesterday, listen. Chris Paul was on the team yesterday. When I know, you picked, but I, I'm I'm just telling you how I operate. If me and you make a deal, 
and and we make a deal that this is what we're doing, and you add something new to it, I have the right to say I no longer want to go with that because I didn't sign up for that. I didn't sign up for Chris Paul Golden State. <laughs> I didn't sign up for that. What I'm saying is this. Yesterday, when you picked Golden State, Chris <laughs> Paul was already on Golden State. So how did you make this decision in between yesterday and today to go with I don't with like them? his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like his, I don't like his approach. Okay. <laughs> He has a champion. <laughs> There's a body language pause that all champions yo, walk with. Yo, you know, it's game, like man. an AKA or anything like that. If you've been in college, they walk with their head up. You know, it's a look. Like a, explain. You know what I'm talking about? She's, a, she's one of them. Right. She's you AKA? <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about, Jeff. <laughs> you are? That's yes. probably why we get along. <laughs> I'm a Kappa. You didn't know that? A kappa with the K or a kappa with the C? <laughs> no, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good. difference. Yeah. He, he it's a difference. Because he definitely yeah. is what it yeah. is. Right. Kappa. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> been around y'all for a good amount of time yeah. now, baby. Yeah. Yeah. That was See, definitely listen, a good game. We gave you the job. Because <laughs> I was a kappa and you was AK. Now, see? Paternity. I'm going with the C. I'm going with, I'm <laughs> going, Definitely with the C. I'm going with the C. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not no cat. <laughs> but, but you did go to university yeah. where a lot of frats yeah. was there. So explain what you mean, Chris Paul, not walking. <laughs> I definitely, I don't, I'm not saying you're a cabo. I know yeah, you know yeah, that. Yeah. The, no, the, I'm not a cabo, but it's, it's like a certain way that, um, like all AKs carry themselves. She's looking at me really intense. But it's that like it's a gang, B. It's a gang. It's definitely a gang. <laughs> but it's like they walk with their heads up like this every time you see them. Their head is to the sky. Is that right? As we should. See, <laughs> it's a body see, language. You ever As see? We you ever see school days? <laughs> no. See, <laughs> uh -huh. here we go. <laughs> no, it's something some yeah. camera yeah. shit. It's a yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, you, you, you would probably like that. You, it's a list. You'd understand what it. I said. Yeah, like I, the reason I know about that in particular. Yeah, but they walk around like they're winners, I'm, like I'm, they're I'm, better I'm, than I'm, everybody else. That's why I bought them school days. I'm not really, I didn't go to a school yeah. where it was cappers or anything. Yeah. So I bought them school days because yeah. I was familiar with the way they walk because <laughs> of school days. That was, the, that was yeah. my cap of knowledge. Um, but you cap in <laughs> as, your team, as your team was going to say yesterday. And if, that, if you don't like the way they operate, I can't even argue with that. And if you don't like his attitude, I can't argue with that either. I don't like his attitude. Um, no, I think, pause, I think that team, when you think about it, they're just, they'll be too small for Denver to win. They're very small. Golden yeah. State is small. Um, Back to the original list. Boston, I just, I, I agree with Mace. I don't really know who makes these lists. Um, you know why? Because Boston. Yeah, we're the new source. Yeah, because Boston been the favorite the last three years, if I'm not mistaken, at the beginning of the season. And this is the third year. And, and somebody would say, you know what I really believe? Mm -hmm. Is whoever's making this, the odds makers, I guess in Vegas or ESPN, whoever's making these odds is like, I'll be damned if they fuck up this year. Yeah. Like every year you're picking Boston to win. And I agree with Mace. I don't think they're going to make it out the East. I do like the team. It's about health for me. I think that Drew Holiday, uh, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown isn't enough to get them out the East. But I do think they could get out the East if Porzingis stays healthy, which I don't mm -hmm. think will, will happen. So I would give them the leverage at least minimum to make it out the East, East, pardon me. But, you know, we were in New York when Phil Jackson drafted Porzingis, and he has not played a full season since then. A lot of people don't even remember him. He was the unicorn in New York, and he mm -hmm. hasn't played a full season since those days. So I don't really see him staying healthy. Hopefully he does. I don't wish injury upon nobody, but I think if they had him the full season, then possibly, but I just think that um, Milwaukee has a lot of size for us. They have a lot of size. They got yeah. both the Lopez brothers. I like um, I like Portis. Um, of course, Giannis. If they go with that that four right there, and 
And then the shooter. Yeah, and, and Damian Lillard. Um, you throw up Chris Middleton. Yeah, they got yeah. players that really listen at this, that have won. Listen, and I don't know on that offense how it works, but let's just say you got Damian Lillard as a third option. It's crazy. Yeah, you know he may be a second option. He could be a first option. But as to have Damian Lillard as a third option is just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and when you and when you spread the offense. And you got Damon Lillard with the ball, or let's say you just got Dame, you got Giannis coming down with the ball, pause, and they're playing defense, and he can kick out to Damon, and he can kick out to to um to Middleton. It's just it's just it's a nightmare when you when you are such a person that goes to the basket, and you got people that live that for can that knock, they can knock the shot down. Yeah, yep. that's like that's a dream unit. And stat, what number did they have? The Lakers? I actually got they a job tomorrow. A, yeah, after Boston, Milwaukee, Denver, Phoenix. So fifth. No. That's good. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I, I got know. the Knicks before the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, I'm going to be disrespectful <laughs> today. I got the Knicks before the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, and I might have to agree with you after seeing the game <laughs> yeah. last night. Like that, that, you look, I never thought I'd say that, neither. Yeah, yeah, and you know what's crazy? You made a good point last segment. The body language spoke yeah. volumes. Yeah. Like, yo, bro, you could see they, pause, they were deflated, pause. Like, yo, come on, bro. Um... But my picks are Milwaukee, and I'm going to stay with... I'm going to stay with Phoenix. But God damn, them Denver niggas. Yeah. Them Denver niggas after last... That joker... Listen, let me ask I you... I got what, Phoenix right after Denver. I got Phoenix right after Denver. It's going to be a... It's Golden it's, State, but last night now you got Phoenix. <laughs> so Golden State's not after Denver. Phoenix is. Yes. <laughs> okay, no problem, Berna. I mean, they added Bo Ball. That, that changed everything. Yep. Um, let me ask you this real quick. Who in the NBA realistically, and I don't know if it's Embiid or Giannis or whoever, I'm asking you, who is going to stop the Joker realistically? That's my point. That's why I said Phoenix second because they're the only team that just think about even Golden State. If Golden State is my team, you're, you're a guard, I'm a guard. If you're trying to shoot over one seven-footer and he just changed your shot and then you got another seven-footer running at you, there's so many people, Paul's running with, with wingspan that's going to be changing those shots. That changed the perimeter defense. Not and as- even that joker, when you got one seven-footer that could that can be on them but not really stop them, but somebody else can help that's another seven-footer, that changes everything. And that's a great answer, but... That's how the Bulls used to play because they'll have they have one of the, whatever they name, Purdue or anybody, Cartwright, and then somebody else come from the blind side, pause, that's another big um, forward or something, and it changed everything on the defense. That's a great answer, but my question is, is there any one player in the NBA that could stop the Joker? Is there anyone? No. That's what I was thinking. No. I, don't, I was thinking the Nobody's same. committed. Nobody's committed. I was thinking the same. That's why I asked you that, because I'm like, I'm sitting there trying to kill my brain. I'm like, MB is pretty good. Giannis is good. Giannis is real good. There, there's nobody. There's is nobody. anybody that could stop the Joker one-on-one? You made a great... Uh, point on how team basketball could uh, hopefully yeah, you eventually have to stop double the team, team and make somebody else real, shoot. Right, but I was just thinking to myself, is it any one player who can stop the joke? And because looking at him last night, it was like, you're going to have to do exactly what you just said a second ago, but I just want to know what you thought of it. Was any one player who could actually stop They're him? Prob- there was one player that could have been a player to stop him, but um, Golden State got rid of him. That was Wiseman. He would be young and athletic with, that's about 7'2". There's nobody even at height that could really whole, that have any kind of muscle to them to well, be able to guard The whole thing him. about it is, Rosman's still in the league. He's plays for Detroit, so he'll have an opportunity. So, <laughs> yeah, well, then him after, he would have to, you know, I hit the weight room. So. so I agree with you both, but you know I got to search everything. So in discussion boards, the only players that people think could even be the best equipped to beat the Joker would have been AD or Embiid. So thoughts on those two. 
Well, we already see it when AD <laughs> happens, so we'll yeah. guess we have to wait. And that's why I said there's no player committed to doing it. When you have to guard a superstar, you have to be committed to slowing them down. You have to be committed to saying, I'm okay with just stopping him and our team winning. And I don't think today's mindset allows players to be like that anymore. Like, I'm, I'm going to be A-OK with getting two points, but my job was to stop the joker, and I did that. Well, we're going to go to break, and when we return, we will talk about Dwight Howard. <laughs> <laughs> She called this thing about was toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna us. be free Welcome back. As you know, Underdog always has special picks you can get when you first sign up. But this week, Underdog has a special pick for all of y'all who tune into it is what it is and have used code CAM. Mace or stat. So this week, the special pick is Giannis at half a point for his game on Thursday. And if you're just signing up, you'll get another special pick on top of that. So make sure to use these codes and keep downloading Underdog Fantasy. So let's get into our Underdog Fantasy picks of the day. On Wednesday, the Magic will play the Rockets. Underdog Fantasy has Jalen Green at three and a half rebounds. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace. Jalen Green at how many rebounds? Three and a half. Um, Jalen Green, higher. I'm going to go higher. Okay. He should have more than three. Yeah, I'm going to go higher as well. Okay. Dylan Brooks is at two assists. Do you have him higher or lower, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan Brooks season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Two my assists. Man. My nigga Dylan was a... Yo, did you see he when he played He was balling in the, um, in the Olympics, right? In the FIFA shit. Did you see FIFA. when when some shit happened? He got kicked out the game. I don't know where he got boxing gloves from. Yeah. But he was waiting in the in the, in the fucking hallway <laughs> with boxing gloves on. He's a character to say the least. Um, I like Dylan Brooks. Two and a half assists. Just two. Oh, two yeah. assists. I'm going higher. <laughs> <laughs> He's a loose cannon. I don't I don't really know, man. It's a He's not going, he might not score a lot, so he's going to have to get assists. Getting 40 in the Olympics, man. Nigga might be feeling himself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go higher. Okay. And Paulo Bencaro is at half a double double. Do you have him higher or lower? Half a double double. What yeah. is that? Is that half a double? Five double-double. points five and five. five. Yeah, of course he's high. He's higher than that. Who is it? You said Paulo Bencaro. I'm going lower. Cam, he's going to have more than five points and five rebounds. It's not guaranteed. I don't like his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. P5, shout out to the Florida boys, man. I don't like his attitude. <laughs> okay, make sure to download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. Okay. So this topic, I cannot tell you how many times I got tagged in it. I'm sure you guys got tagged in it as well. So we got to talk about Dwight Howard. Okay, I'm going to try my best. Pause. A yeah, permanent pause. Try for my the best whole to explain part. this whole situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. After some previous allegations of assault, battery, and false imprisonment, Dwight Howard admitted to meeting with the man who accused him to hook up, but denies forcing him to participate in a threesome. And he says everything that happened was consensual. But the man who accused Howard said that he brought a man who was who wanted to be addressed as Kitty. Dwight also said he only stopped the sexual acts he was doing with the man when he realized he did not enjoy it. 
So thoughts on the situation. <laughs> it's been going Cam everywhere. Go first. <laughs> yeah. You go first, bro. I'm about to take a gummy oh. behind this joint right here, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> go ahead, Cam. <laughs> this is this is a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. He he Matter he, of fact, you know what? Stat, you go first. <laughs> Me first? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. My answer is always like you guys expect. But um, okay, so my thoughts on the situation. That's a lot to uncover. Personally, I feel like the man who you know, accused Dwight Howard of all this. I don't like the fact that he tried to make it seem like, you know, he was lying, like that situation never happened because now you coming back and saying that it did happen. That's one, the same person? I'm, I'm almost positive it's the same person from before. Because in this person's shoes, I feel bad for the person who accused him because if you, I just feel like for anybody in any situation where you feel let's, let's be clear because I'm still learning this yeah. situation. Yeah. Him accused, let's use names so yeah. I, I, I know who know. you're talking yeah. about. Okay, okay. So the person's name is I gotta find it. St- Stephen, Stephen Harper. So let's just call him Steve so I know Steve. you're talking yeah. about. Okay, Steve. cool. Steve accused Dwight Howard of false imprisonment, like all that stuff. And Earlier on, we know Dwight Howard denied it. So I'm saying I feel bad for Steve because if they were in a situation, which I mean, like this year, if you do as you please, you know, do what you want to do. Um, but see, don't see, that's why that's and, why I'm let, here. Let, let her go though, man. We, no, we, no, we didn't want to okay, okay. let her yeah. finish. Let's I just right. feel like yeah. you can't double back and say that it was a lie and then come back and say, oh, you know, that did happen, but it was consensual because everything that you said prior now one we don't believe you because you were trying to cover up a situation where you made somebody else feel uncomfortable when they were clearly comfortable in their skin even engaging speaking to you and now it's like a whole blown up story that it didn't it didn't need to get to this point but it did because you lied about what initially happened yeah. i feel like to steve like that's not fair because clearly this was you know a conversation that was made between them you came, brought somebody else that the person didn't even know, and then initially That's tried the to make this seem like a liar. That's the part I'm getting a little confused on. I didn't yeah. mean to cut you off. It's, it's a third party? Yes. It's so three Dwight niggas. Howard, so, <laughs> yes. So Dwight Howard brought somebody else named Kitty. That's why Kitty. I said let's get the name. Been ra- <laughs> like, niggas been rapping is, about three so long. Yeah, yeah. He took it the other way. Yeah, okay, that's why I was saying yeah. same name. So now it's... So just so I'm clear, I don't want to interrupt you. I want yeah. you to get your point across so you don't got to go on. Yeah. Check out the stat and do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> basically, Dwight Howard and Steve met, met up, but Dwight Howard brought Kitty with him. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Finish what you yes. said. Yes. Right, and yeah. so that's not fair. Like, you, that was never, that was never stated. And now <laughs> you out here trying to make it look like Steve was stupid when you was the one who initiated everything. And then you said that you stopped because you didn't, you realize he didn't like it. Like, the Who's whole he situation. Though? Who's Dwight he? Dwight Howard said he stopped they because, said that they said that Steve because Steve didn't, didn't like, like it. it. Is Steve Kitty? No. <laughs> Kitty no. is another nigga. Dwight Howard brought Kitty. So, so Steve so didn't even know Kitty yeah. was coming. So, so just, because I, I want confusing. you to finish your point yeah. before me and Mace, because I would love to hear a woman's yeah. point of view on this. So basically, just so that me and Mace are clear, Dwight Howard was supposed to meet Steve. When they met up, the nigga had Kitty with him. <laughs> and Steve is like, Yo, and Steve, and Steve is like, hold the fuck on. I ain't signed up for Kitty. Right. I signed up to meet but you. Dwight. Now, and, and Dwight Howard is basically saying, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. and Dwight oh, Howard my is basically Yo. saying, nah, Kitty, Yo. cool. You gonna have some fun. It'll be all right. Because, you know, Yo. Kitty, Kitty is, fun. is a good time. Is that correct from what I'm yes. understanding? So, guys, yes. finish. I just want to. So, who because- didn't like it? Kitty Steve. Or Steve. Steve didn't sign up for any, like Steve. any of that. Oh. Steve, Steve, and was- Steve wanted one on one. Yes. 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 And Steve, Dwight Howard yes. was basically like, "You gonna like this anyways?" Like 
that's to Steve. Like, what is? And then not only that, Steve didn't like it. Then Dwight Howard went and like lied about the situation, saying that it never happened. So then you got Steve looking stupid, trying to like help Steve's name. And then now Dwight Howard came out and said, we got to watch what we say because I was going to say so. Yeah, but not that that's what I'd like to explain. And I would love, I love Stat's point of view. She doesn't give a lot of point of view. I see no welcome to Stat. She's been feeling away (laughs) for a little minute. (laughs) So I let her, I wanted her to get her point across. But what I will say is this, Steve, if this is the same person from months ago, was DMing us, talking, not us, not us, you. nigga. You not, didn't not, DM no. me. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. It is what it is, Paige. <laughs> Try, not none of us personally. Let's be motherfuckers. <laughs> let's be clear. Trying to explain uh, his side of the story. You know, our producer in Miami, shout out to Kevin Spence. You know, Kev, we miss you and everything. Much love. But we have yeah. all of Steve's DMs on the is what it is page of him saying, I got all the proof. He said how he drove to Dwight's house yeah. and all this other shit. And he's DMing the is what it is page. Wow. And at this particular point, I was like, um, it's no concrete facts about it. So I didn't want to accuse Dwight Howard of anything. And when we posted something about it one time, uh, you know, this was during the summer. And when we posted something about it, Dwight had uh texted me and you made fun of me. <laughs> he's, he's like, yo. <laughs> we have a conversation about what's going on and I was like nah because it's like and don't get me wrong I, I prefer, no Dwight I was cool with me I don't give a fuck what you do on your own time and whatever that's all good but, you know y'all I agree with stature ain't got a lie about it um, but I didn't want to get involved with that because I was like until these court documents came out yeah. I don't like accusing anybody right. of anything, so I left that alone. But I wanted Stat to say what she said, give her opinion, so that me and Mace could fully understand before we give our opinion. And just so I'm clear before I give my opinion after Mace gives his opinion, Dwight Howard lied and said he never met Steve ever. ever. Come to find out he did meet Steve, and not only did he meet Steve, he bought somebody named Kitty with him to meet Steve. And Steve said, hold the fuck on. I thought this was a one-on-one. Now you got me in a threesome with Kitty. The White Howard says... And he wanted to leave. The, the White Howard says, nah, Kitty, cool. It's all good. Steve may be scared. We don't know how big or tall or small pores that Steve is because the White Howard's 6'10", uh, fucking diesel nigga, pores. Yeah. Now he may feel... In, threatened to stay because the reason that this only stopped according to these documents the status saying is that he looked at Steve and Steve didn't like it. So that's the only reason it might have even stopped. And I could tell not Nick but my other man in the control room is shaking his head like this is so crazy ass shit. <laughs> this is yeah. nasty. So now that we have the story under control to where I understand, Mace understand, and hopefully the viewers at home understand, do you have any last thought on this before we give our opinions? Um, yeah, the last thing is that Dwight Howard asked for the tr- charges to be dropped because he said he never assaulted Steve because he never forced him to do anything non-consensual. That's the last thing. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. <laughs> now, this this is where I'm going to start. Before I talk about Dwight, before we talk about your Anything disclaimers. Your disclaimers. Dwight. Dwight. Right. Where is he going? I don't know what, know what kind of disclaimer this was. This your disclaimers is crazy. Be careful. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. We got to stop telling people, I don't care what you do on your own time. Because we do care. We Cam, Cam is lying if he tell you. He, yo, I, I don't care what you do on your own time. And then stat follows up. And women, you got to stop. For real, put the camera on me. For real. We got to stop telling niggas what you do in your own personal time has nothing to do with me. 
It does, my nigga. If you if you caught, come on, man. Yeah, it, it does matter. It does matter. That those are the lies that are going on in society. We tell people it don't matter, but behind your back it matters. Yeah. And that's what we got to first oh, start off by saying. Like you hear you hear stats saying this because what people do in their bedroom, that's between them. <laughs> Not necessarily true, but I understand. I understand. <laughs> Is, uh, you, you get what I'm saying? Because you're telling them it don't matter. But then it does matter. And anybody <laughs> watching this knows it does matter. Even to people <laughs> that participate, it matters. Because people will say, oh, it don't matter. And as soon as they find out, they out they're out in them. So it matters. Yeah. You know, oh, and when it comes shit, down to making story. money off the story, yeah. it matters. When it comes down to who dating you is going to matter. <laughs> when it comes down to it, we're going to... Look at Cam. But it's good to Cam on Cam. When it comes down to if you're going to be in the locker room with yeah. them, it matters. Because yeah. there's about 30 teams that did not sign Dwight Howard because it matters. So let, let's dispel that. That's the first thing we got to dispel. The second thing is that is consensual. It's never consensual if you surprise somebody. <laughs> How do you say it's consensual? It's surprise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, and um, I don't be meaning to laugh. Sometimes I make myself laugh, but it's not funny. But it is funny. Stupid man. Yo, he said it's consensual. <laughs> so just, so, just think, you're somewhere, you're with somebody, and somebody walk out of the side door with a leprechaun outfit on. It's not longer consensual. <laughs> Yo, it's yo, not consensual. Yo, yo, it's, it's not consensual. Y'all want me to keep? <laughs> y'all want me to keep going? Because this is this makes sense. It makes sense, but people be lying, and folks can't get help if y'all lie. So that's not oh, consensual. Shit. Consensual is agreeing beforehand on what's gonna happen. If it's not agreed to beforehand, it's not consensual. Young guys need to know this. Young ladies need to know this. It's not consensual if it's not agreed to beforehand. To put somebody on the spot and say, oh, it's consensual. No, it doesn't. Consensual doesn't work like that. Like growing up, I met a girl at the club. I tell her, listen, I only do the first night. If we got to wait, I can't do it because I don't got time like that. Tomorrow ain't promise. You know, I've changed since then a little bit, but that's where I am. Bring that nigga back outside. Yo, Yo bring that nigga back. I miss that nigga. Yeah. Tomorrow is not promise. I miss that nigga, it's man. It's tonight only. It's tonight Yo, only. Bring him back out. Yeah. That nigga was with me in the whole house. Yeah. I like that yeah, Cam would say, what you told her? I told her it's tonight only. Yo, man. If it can't happen tonight, it never happened. Oh, shit, She man. said, well, tomorrow <laughs> is going to be better for me. I said, I won't need it tomorrow. <laughs> I need it tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, he ain't, he's not lying, yo. He's definitely not lying. Yeah, we need he's it He's definitely tonight. not lying. So 100%. He said, well, my friend's going to be in town. I'm going to have a babysitter tomorrow. Forget the kids. <laughs> tonight or no night. And tonight is the only night that matters. Yo, he, but I change. I change. <laughs> hey, I, I'm not going to comment on none of that. I, what I will say is I, 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 remember the, I remember those times and, and I miss them. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> because listen... You can't get mad at that though. Yeah, that's you, consensual. You, you yeah, knew you, beforehand. Yeah, you may say you could you could You can say he's rude. He's rude, he's an asshole. Yeah. Fuck that nigga. Yeah. Who the fuck is he to tell me this, that, and the third? But he was straight up and yeah. down and didn't lie to you. And I will always tell him 
And if you talk to Cam, he's worse than me. We're the same. <laughs> <laughs> so if you think you're going to not do the night with me and go with him, he's thinking right now, I was at least going to give you to the hotel. He wants it right here. Yo, you know what? You know what? Just you know what's funny that you bringing this up is that I remember. Um, how do I say it? <laughs> I remember well, well, well yeah, when when because you know you used to be a hardcore rapper and then figured out that late you had a sex appeal pours towards the ladies or whatever, and and I started to see how you changed a little bit. Not not <laughs> not um deep, not inside. But your tactics were different. <laughs> <laughs> the and same I, yeah, killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah different, a different, different style. Yeah. And I was like, yo, Mace, y'all remember this? I said, yo, Mace, what you mean? We going to dinner. <laughs> Cam. A little macaroni yeah, yeah. thing on her. Cam, man, we can't keep doing the same thing. <laughs> we can't, you can't keep talking to these females like this. And I was like, well, why not? Like, you know, <laughs> it should have been working. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here now. We can't, we can't talk that. I didn't understand it. <laughs> I was like, this nigga's bugging. Yeah. But as time went on, I've I, more of the story is I remember your elevation yeah. in becoming the person you are now. Cause it, it was levels. It was time where he said what he just told you, he said. Then it got a little nicer, like yeah. <laughs> We're we going to eat food before. Yeah, yeah. That's consensual. Yeah, That's yeah, consensual. Yeah, That's what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah. No, when I say that, then, you know, Mr. Childs, then we might go here for the weekend. I'm like, we didn't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we never you had to do this. You didn't have to do all this. But then when I got some money out of you, I started becoming that way. That shit comes with some money, too, at the same time. Because you got money. You When you don't have a lot of money... Yeah, your consent you come without food. Yeah, because you got a budget, you have money yeah. till you get to where you want to go. When you got extra money to spend, you can start planning shit. You know, um, let's go here for the week or let's go out to eat or let's do this because if you don't, then it's hard. I just seen something, and we'll get back to this real quick. I just want to bring this up because <laughs> we, you know, you're fucking crazy. We just talking <laughs> about this. It was a girl who just went viral, just yeah. went viral because. She didn't get out the car when the dude took her to the Cheesecake Factory. And niggas, I don't know if y'all seen it at yeah, home. Yeah, she says she's too good looking yeah, to she, be going she to Cheesecake. Get out. She's like, boo-boo, you need to come back in here. Did you see that? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... Yeah. yeah, but that's the point. Yeah. So now you put niggas... You got... Yeah, females yeah. are holding people to a higher standard. It's now, it's now, that's no longer consensual. So right. you got to let her know. If Cheesecake don't work... <laughs> Popeyes is the next thing. <laughs> you got you got to know that. Hey, this is what I want for Popeyes. That's consensual. This is what I want for yo, for cheesecake. Yo, listen. This is what I want for Mr. Childs. This we definitely got to do this for Ocean Prime. Right, right. That, that, oh, that's consensual. Absolutely. And hey, listen, you know. And let me let me ask. No, I say like that ain't a good person to ask. Let me ask you about some of your friends because I know you. You, 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 Stat, you. Do you understand that? I like, did. if a guy say that, so if you don't want to do certain things, I'm not saying this is right, well, but this is how the conversation yeah. should go. I, I expect my, RO, my ROI on on Ocean is going to be different than Popeye's. Yeah. No, I get it. Like, if that ex if that expectation is set at the beginning, yeah. you know what you're getting into. Niggas wasn't expecting Kitty. So, yeah. that's, what, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dwight, that's what he's trying to tell you. He wasn't expecting Kitty. No, that's what you said. I, I almost don't have anything to say. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is in. Because yeah. that's all, that's almost like if a, let's say if it was heterosexual and it was a guy and a guy had a woman in the room and then out of nowhere, a nigga came out the room. Right. That's going to be considered rape for yes, some people. Exactly. So you definitely, you definitely can't play with that. We're joking just to, just for the show, but you can't play with that. Like just bring somebody out the, yeah. out the closet. No <laughs> pun about, no, not, not even that. They said, fuck going on. They said, oh, that's just Kitty. Yeah. Like, it's like, that's you crazy. never know. He want, he probably wanted to keep what he was doing private and you just blew him up. So he, now he got to blow you up. Yep. That's what it's um, like. We said no. We said no. Um, yeah, for the whole shit. 
for this because this is all crazy. It's, it's, it's all actually, of this yeah, is it's wild crazy. Yeah. The last thing I'll say is this. And then, if he, and then, if he be, and then the dude said he assaulted them. So where's the assault? I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's the sexual assault. Yeah, sexual he's assault. Forcing and then the force, on a force kidnapping. Like, that's crazy. Force imprisonment. Yeah. That means he wanted to go <laughs> and you wouldn't let him go. That's yeah. crazy. What I was going to say is because I look, I think both of you guys stat. And if Dwight that. agreed, if Dwight <laughs> said that he didn't do this and now he's saying he did. We can't uh, we can't believe nothing he say. That's that's, that's what, what I was saying. Point, that's yeah. what Stat's point that's is. What She's mad for Steve because you got it. So basically, what Stat point was, y'all both, y'all both made very great points. Um, and I'm glad that you cleared that up at the end, Mace, because I was going to say that because this isn't a a gay or hetero situation. Uh, well, I'm saying it happens for everybody, but yeah. we don't want to make it seem like this is only for gay people. Yeah, this happens. To heterosexual, like yeah. May said, that's considered... You bring considered, somebody out the side right. door. Right, now... is rape. Exactly. The only thing that I will disagree on is me, personally. If yeah. you bring another female, you don't have to consent, consult with me. You can just... <laughs> <laughs> you can just bring her with you. I'll be okay. I, I'll figure it out. So, you, you, know, you know, I'll be just fine. <laughs> but what if she... What if the other girl didn't agree to it? No, if a girl... Oh, if the girl right? agreed to and it. Yeah. Then she, no, I'm not bringing out another girl. If she decides oh, yeah, to bring it, you didn't bring yeah, it. I'm not going to. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> not two of you. <laughs> what am I to do? <laughs> so, oh my God. Um, I don't really out to myself. I think both of you guys made great points. What I was going to say real quick when we were talking about how we used to act. Because I got a friend, <laughs> I won't say who. Yeah. Because he, he yet nigga too now. Yeah. But um, and and let me ask you this, Stat, and I'm not talking about you because I know you hold yourself to a higher standard. Mm-hmm. So let's say the girl wants to go to dinner yeah. or in a movie or out on a date. And sometimes this goes good for him and sometimes it doesn't. I've been yeah. watching. I, I should have been, I should have put the shit on underdog to see if it's high or low or pause. Yeah. But before the, before they go anywhere, what he does is he gets there and he says, look, just take the 200. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I really don't want to see no movie. You know what I plan on doing after all this. You could take you and your girlfriends out and do whatever y'all want to do with it. Just take care of me right now. <laughs> that way it'll save a lot of time between all of us. We ain't got to figure out what's going to happen tonight. Yeah. What do y'all think about that proposal? And, and, and I'm just I, using the 200. No, for real. Yeah. And no matter how crazy it seems, or how immoral it seemed to some people, that's consensual. No. Because you're letting them know what it is, and they have a right to make their own decision. Right. I'm, I'm not, and that's 100% consensual. Con- yeah. Um, if she consensual. goes with it, that's her business. No, I'm, that wasn't the question. What do you think about that, though? About oh, that? Right. Like, what do you think about that offer? <laughs> of course, I, I mean, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Consul- and not, not actually consul- What do you think about that? Because <laughs> you know what? Let me, th- let me say this real quick before y'all answer, right? And this is me for years. And I think about this with marriage, right? And it's like, you have to find your soulmate. You all almost have, you don't have to, but it's like, if you get married, you yeah. want to find your soulmate. You want to find a person that finish your sentences. Y'all want to like the same food. The Sopranos come on. You like Sopranos. If Wu-Tang is on, you like Wu-Tang. If, if you like Dave Chappelle, you take my, oh, you <laughs> like, oh, you like watching different strokes, pause once in a while. Like, that's almost what you want to marry to a T. Yeah. Sex is supposed to be good, et cetera. But you know how hard it is finding all that in one person? <laughs> God damn, yo. You may got somebody who just better sexually, but then after you bust a nut, you may want to watch TV yeah. with this girl because she understand the TV shit that you like. And then on top of that, she may be vegan, mm-hmm. but so you can't go to Ruth Chris with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo, this is three girls that you like three different things, and you're trying to figure out, damn, I like fucking her. But then I really like watching Chilling with her. But this bitch know where I love to eat at. So the fondness mixture in one person is really hard. Like me personally, man, 
It's tough out here for a nigga, man. Because I won't settle. <laughs> I will not. Listen, ladies. I will not settle, man. I am handsome. I get money. I get up and hustle. What are you bringing to the table, man? I, I mean, I will not do it, man. I'm not. And even when I do, you it got to be a match made in heaven. So the moral of the story is the reason I brung all that up is because. You said, it, what do you think about the? Because if they you make that offer, you like, this is so. This is the first girl we have outstanding sex. Yeah. I don't really like going out to the movies yeah. with you, and I'm not really hungry because we don't really eat the same shit. This yeah. is the money that I would have spent tonight because we know where we was going. Yeah, and here's an extra sign on top of it <laughs> <laughs> because y'all already <laughs> fuck with each other. So what, how would y'all feel? The moral story I broke all that down to ask you: How would you feel about it? Well, in that situation, I'm gonna say he. People don't even think like that. They're like, I'm not even going to give you $200. Either we're doing this or we're not. So mm-hmm. that's on them. But also just like with dating and stuff, I think that like if that's your like mindset, you know, I like this from this person, this from this person, this from that person, then just keep dating. Because it's like you want to find something that you can vibe with and you're not going to find the perfect build. Just like when we look at ourselves, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously we don't think ourselves is perfect, but they might be like, man, this man snores or he does this and I don't like this. So right. it's like, and you can't be thing, like, yeah, the thing with me is get out then. <laughs> <laughs> but that's different because yeah. you're the one off, you're yeah. the one offering because yeah. in right. a different situation, no, no, like my situation, right. I have a lot to offer. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Yeah, and so that's you're what I'm not trying to say. That. You got the, and, I, and, I, and this isn't a male thing. This is yeah. a female thing too. Any little thing could piss a female yeah. off like, oh, like you said, this nigga snores. Yeah. Or you'd be like, I know this nigga's not biting his nails while he watching TV. Yeah. Or it just might piss you off because his teeth pores hit the fork when he eats. It's a bunch of little shit. So yeah. I get it. Stat. Sorry to interrupt. That's what I was no, saying. That's really like, good. Yeah. Right. I, I think the best, I think the best way to define a person that you really like is to be yourself unapologetically. I think those are the people that give themselves the best chance. Cause when you lying about certain things, you don't get to know if this person likes this or you like that. So the same way with a woman, she got to be unapologetically herself. I will say, though, I think nowadays a lot of people don't know how to do that. And, and that's why they don't meet so. the right person. But if you went in front of somebody, like like you said, hey, I'm this type of guy. I'm going to do these type of things. I might go to church with you, but I'm, I'm a nigga nigga. Like, you know, <laughs> and you let her know that. <laughs> Then she get to decide if that's if that's what she wants to do. <laughs> right. you know? I, I dig it. I dig it. Because you didn't lie. You right. know what yeah. I'm saying? Absolutely. So to everybody's point, just be upfront at the beginning. You yeah. know, this is a new age. Like you should feel comfortable. I understand that for a lot of people, it, yeah, they're you not can at say that I point. might change, but don't bank on it. Yeah. And and I just want to see you guys' opinion. What right. I will say is this. They better hope Kitty don't come out of the closet, <laughs> out the little box soon. Because if Kitty come out that little box, she could get real ugly, man. I would love to hear uh, Kitty's point of view on would this. Would you have Kitty on the show? Sure, why not? I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Who's Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, if you're watching this, we <laughs> need be. you on the show for a nice little exclusive we interview. Need the first, we need the first interview. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. I know that was a lot to unpack, but thank you all for watching. As always, it is what it is. Uh, super, super next. Like when they doing them two for five.